Let's just say we add another parameter here. I just put a comma here, and I put in here total. For some maybe just simple calculation, and I'll set that to zero at default just in case. Um, I don't want that to have any er errors. Now, because here, I didn't put anything here. If you want to return the max back or the total back, if I want to return that parameter back outside so I can use it, then over here I have to put the word out here. Okay, that means that that parameter total, it will do the calculation <coughs> inside that procedure. One is done, then it's accessible outside of the procedure. Okay, you, you can grab the data back uh, from that total variable. In this case, the max uh, won't be coming out, but the total does. Okay. <clears throat> so let's, I mean, for curiosity, just put instead of zero, put, let's put 100 here. Okay, put 100 here. Um, and I'm going to just, that's all I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to alter that procedure. <clears throat> Execute that. So, a little bit tricky here, but I'll um, <clears throat> show you. Okay, so this is marked to return if I want to. If you don't want to, that's okay too. You could stay uh, as it is. There's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. The um, trick is when you call it. So, when you call the function down here, <clears throat> and we'll make this a little bit simple here. I'm just going to call it in here. Uh, this is the right above here. So when I call this function, <clears throat> I will do execute the sp person person. The first parameter is default is 10. I could, um, if you want to, <clears throat> if you want to use the second parameter, you have to put something there. You cannot just um, uh, skip that number because it doesn't not know, right? So uh, you put the, let's just say, 10, just like it is. And the second parameter is the total. <clears throat> well, if you want to get the total back, then this has to be a parameter. It has to be a variable name, not a number. If I put this, you cannot read it because it's a constant, right? So whatever this variable is, it can actually, it's a reference to this total here. So that means I have to go ahead and declare a variable name call uh, maybe total here as well and make that as an int and then i'll pass this total to this parameter as total and also put the word out it's coming out from that <clears throat> as well you do this per parameter if you have a third parameter you want to also that out then you also put that out as well if you don't it's not coming out okay that means this out here have to match this out in here. That's all. So that's the requirement. Um, <clears throat> and then once that's done, then the total is accessible here, and then I can print that here. So I can say uh, print the total here. And then you have to run all these three at the same time because it only stays in RAM, right? <clears throat> once you exit out, it's not there anymore. Uh, unless you write that total to a table, then that's permanent. But otherwise, it's only in RAM during execution time. So let's see if I get 100 back. If it's, if it's true, we actually get 100 back from the total here, back to this total outside here. Uh, so execute that. As you can see, it runs the script just fine. Remember the print, it's in the message. So in the message, I have the total of... Um, Okay, I didn't see it. Uh, okay, what's going on? <clears throat> Unless... I don't think I have to return anything. Uh, well, let's see here. I'm just going to test something here. Uh, if I if I leave that out, and if I go here and set 
I'm just really wondering if it doesn't take a default value or not. Um, set that to 100 here. Okay, so let me alter that. And then see if that works. Yeah, so I guess I guess you have to do something inside. I, I thought you could just grab the grab the default value, but um, it didn't let me do it. <clears throat> I guess because when I put this total here is it's nothing, right? You declare that's nothing, and I'll pass to it. Then whatever it has here, I had a hundred earlier. It actually overwrites this with nothing, and then therefore returns nothing. Maybe that was, I think that was the reason why. <clears throat> so I could do like total is equal to, um, I just say, a hundred or, you know, hundred times the max. Okay, so I get, whatever, I get a thousand back, for example. So you can do this type of calculation and the return of the total will be a thousand in this case. So again, let me just, every time you do this, um, you have to just alter every time. Okay, alter the procedure. So it stays in there. And then you can execute that. And I should get a thousand back in the results down here. Okay. So that was very, pretty easy. Okay. So you can see that how you can use procedure to, to do some very repetitive uh, uh, code um, actions. I'm just showing very simple how you can select something here. If you have a something that is in a, a, a routine all the time, then you put all your code in here to um, to do that for you. Uh, you can select a statement here. You can join multiple tables and return something back. You can say uh, return you know the last the top you know 20 sales from the month of March. You can do something like that, right? So you put that procedure. Uh, in there, or a function, whatever you do it, and you will put that inside there, and then you can pass, instead of March, you can pass the parameters, uh, or from something else, right? <clears throat> okay, so we see how you can pass data to a, a variable this way. You can, um, you're not limited to just um, integer. You can pass in text. Okay, you can even pass a table name if you want. So instead of saying person, that person, I can say select that from this table. Um, you just replace this with that parameter. Um, 